Hello everybody, my name is Mark and welcome to my Jungle Fiora Guide. Um, this is going to be my first video out of a series of different jungle guides where I show you how to play all kinds of champions. From strange champions like Fiora to meta champions like Vi, Lee Sin, and Rek'Sai. Even though Fiora really isn't a meta jungler, she really is a lot of fun and I hope with this guide you'll think so too. The first thing we're going to talk about today are runes. Um, the one thing you'll notice is that you can switch between either having armor pen or attack damage. It's really based on who you're playing against and what the enemy team has. For a more tanky team, I recommend armor pen. Otherwise, I just like the flat AD. It's much better, it makes clearing so much faster. Um, another thing you can do is swap out your magic resist blues and change those out for attack speed. The attack speed makes your clear a little bit faster. Um, the only reason I wouldn't do it is if the enemy team has a lot of AP. It's just, it's up to you. For me, I prefer to have the magic resist. I just like the tankiness end game. It gives you a little bit more survivability and helps you just not get bursted down. So for Fiora, there are two different jungle paths you can go. Obviously, blue side and purple side. Um, for blue side, you want to start at Grom, Smite Grom, and then go for blue buff. After blue buff, you want to go head over to red. It's very important to remember that when you're smiting red, you want to do it at the last possible second when it has like equal health as your smite, so that you can get the most health out of it. After that initial clear, you can go do golems or something. Um, otherwise, it's important to look around the map and see where you can get some possible ganks off. If you're playing on red side, you're going to be starting red buff, going to wolves, and then finishing it blue. Then from there, you can decide what you want to do, kill Gromp or gank. When jungling, your skill order is going to be E, W, Q, and then maxing Q, followed by your E, and then your W. As well as making sure you get your ultimate at every possible level. Once you recall, you want to make sure you get the Stalker's Blade. It's an excellent item for Fiora because it allows her to slow down her enemies as well as give yourself some speed. And stacking that on top of your passive makes you able to chase down anyone. Also, at level, early levels, as well as throughout the game, you're going to be an excellent duelist, making it easy for you to pick up kills and 1v1 basically anybody. Apart from just getting kills, your job as jungler is to make sure you provide pressure in all of the lanes. What this means is doing anything from blowing a flash to damaging the enemy. All of these things help out your laner. The first thing you want to work towards is building that warrior's enchant on your jungle item. The extra armor pen along with your high base damage makes it an excellent item for Fiora and allows for a lot of early dueling. As soon as you have your ultimate, that's when you become a real terror. Your ability to 1v1 anyone increases so much, allowing you to basically delete anyone in these early levels. And if you can get fed off of this, you will be able to carry your games. The best way to do this is to always make sure you're looking at your map. If you see someone extended, that's the perfect opportunity to get a kill. The great thing about ganking with Fiora is although she doesn't have a stun or anything like that, she does have extremely high mobility. With her Q, she's able to have two gap closers. You use your gap closer to get right on top of your enemy, but make sure that you save an extra charge because if they flash, you'll be right on top of them again. Another interesting thing about Fiora is that, although many may not know it, your E is actually an auto attack reset animation. So when you go to attack, you're, you want to attack first and then use your E so you can get the auto attack reset. By making use of this auto attack reset, it will allow you to do your maximum damage. While contrary to popular belief, it is very important to allow some of your teammates to get some kills, especially on your carry, so that you guys can easily win the game. When deciding to gank for your laner, you might decide that you want a tower dive. One thing that you should be certain of is that you're not going to get locked down on a tower and that you'll be easily be able to pick up the kill. One way you can do this is by having your ultimate. It'll also keep you safe, because when you ulti under tower, it'll allow you to drop aggro and switch it to whoever else is in the lane. Now that you have kills under your belt, it's time to recall. Your item build is going to be Rush Hydra, Ghost Blade, Last Whisper. Once you have your core build down, you might want to start building defensive or keep building more offensive. Depending on the team, you might want to build um, either a Guardian Angel, Banshee's Veil, or an Omen. Otherwise, if you're going to go more offensive, you can build items like Bloodthirster, and then maybe as a 6 item, Infinity Edge. 
Now that we've gone over ganking, item builds, masteries, runes, and all that fun stuff, it's time to figure out what you're going to be doing inside these team fights. Basically, you're going to have two jobs. One, you're going to be trying to delete their AD carry, delete their mid laner, whoever it is that's really big on their team and that's doing the most damage. Your second job is going to be to create pressure on other lanes. What this means is to go either bot lane, top lane, and split push. By doing this, you'll accomplish two things. You'll either A, be able to get free towers, or you're going to have the enemy team sending up one or two people to try and deal with you, allowing your team to do uneven fights and pick up free objectives. The more of a threat you are, the more resources the enemy is going to be forced to use on you, making it so much easier for your team. If you can go out and delete an AD carry, delete a mage, push towers and just be straight up annoying, you're going to be getting wins like no other. Well guys, thanks for watching. That's everything for today and I really hope you enjoyed everything you saw. If you guys have any comments, you guys have any ideas for future videos or anything you would like to see, please feel free to leave them in the comments, uh, send me a message. You can even add me in game. Also, please don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and family. It really means a lot to me. Thank you guys. Bye bye.